Hey everyone, Mikey Bouchot here again. I'm going to show you my new effect, Blur Focus. I released it the other day, but today I'm going to be doing the video tutorial on showing you how to use it. So here's my Blur Focus. If you've created a folder called Mikey's Effects, it should be right inside there. All you do is simply click on it and drag it to your clip. Now with your clip selected, it should look something like this with some on-screen controls uh, and everything else out of focus except for a very sharp point in the middle. Let's first look at our controls over here and then we'll look at the on-screen controls. Enable tint, checkbox. You turn it on and off, it lets you add a tint to your image. I can pretty much add any color I want. Again, you can turn that on and off. You also have a tint opacity, so you can kind of decide if you want to mix that in. Uh, changing tint opacity to zero, same as just basically turning it off. I'm gonna leave a tint on there just as I work for right now. Center position, I have X and Y. Same as grabbing my on-screen controls here. Pretty straightforward for this. Type of blur. Right now we're looking at a Gaussian blur, but I can go ahead and switch that out to a defocus blur. Let's turn tint off while we go through this. Defocus blur, radial blur. Kind of a cool effect there. Soft focus, you get a nice glow kind of effect. And of course, zoom blur. So why would you use these different blurs uh, to kind of do different things. Well, on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use a defocus blur for what I'm going to do. And I am going to turn my tint on just so it's a little bit easier to kind of create my mask. Now I have a rotation slider here, which we'll look at in just a second, but I have an X and Y control handle here. If I drag this left and right, you can see I can kind of grow this outside, you know, our X and I can go up and down here for my Y if I wanted. I'm actually going to go ahead and make this just big enough to kind of let me see my speedometer here. About to right there. Reposition this guy so I can see it. Now, I talked about my rotation here. This actually allows me to rotate that angle if you want. Uh, so I can just control X and Y to see how big I want to make my oval. And then I have my angle adjustment here. I'm going to put that back at zero. Now, I also have this feather slider here. Whereas I move this, you'll notice my on-screen control changes. That's because I actually have some on-screen controls for feather. So right here, I can grab this outside handle and pull it out. And as I do so, I'm adding feather to my mask here to soften the kind of transition between my blur and my sharp image. Now I can control how much blur I'm out, and this is an actual rig parameter. So when I switch through any of these, uh, I can actually go ahead and adjust that for any one of these. So I'll just go to radial so it's pretty obvious to see. As I drag this from nothing to something, you'll see it actually affects whatever I do to it. Same thing with zoom here. Very, very zoom. Not as much zoom blur. And this works with every single one of the parameters here. So like I said, I'm going to stay on defocus. Now, I really do like what I've done to this shot so far, and I actually even like the red tint. I might pull this down just a bit to kind of give me that same look that I have here on the controls. Um, I have this saturation slider here where I can actually go ahead and saturate the image further. You'll notice in this case, it just kind of makes the red a little bit further, or I can even desaturate the image outside of it, which in this case, whether I have my tint on or off is kind of a cool effect. Uh, I am going to keep it about normal, so I'm going to go at zero for this one. I can actually brighten the outside if I want, and you can really see what I've done with it, or I can leave it at zero, or I can darken it. And by moving the slider down, obviously I darken it to make it really black on the outside. I'm gonna leave it up so we can still see the outside of this. I also have a gamma adjustment. It's similar to darken, but not, or brighten, but not quite as much. You'll notice it actually keeps the tint inside there with my red, and this one it kind of makes it nice and dark. I'm gonna use a little bit of gamma adjustment there. And then of course I have mix. I'm gonna switch this to zoom just so you can see what's going on. And if I take the mix down, it leaves it in there, but just not as strong. So these are the controls here where basically tint, add a color to it, tint color, pick your color, tint opacity, how much uh, that color is there. Center control or center position, you have an on-screen control for that, or blur type, five different types of blurs. Rotation, adjust the angle of the mask. Blur amount, add a lot or a little. Feather, on-screen control also. Scale X and Y on screen controls left and right here. Saturation of the outside, darken, brighten of the outside, gamma and mix combination of all of it together. So I'm gonna leave this here, 
bring down my opacity, and here's my new shot. To kind of see it with and without it, I'm gonna to go to a different frame so you can kind of see it a little bit differently. And I'll turn this on and off. You'll notice more down here. There's where my out of focus is. I might even turn off my tint, take my saturation all the way down so I make it black and white down there. You'll notice I don't want any extra color there. But again, without it, pretty strong. With it, I get a nice little look around here. Now, this may not look like a big difference here, but if you look at shots like here, you'll notice on this one, I've already preset things up. I've actually added an orange tint to kind of go with the look of everything here. Let me turn it off real quick. To kind of go with the look of the landscape here. So I added an orange tint. I've chosen a zoom blur. Obviously, you can see the rays coming up through some of this. Uh, and it looks really cool coming off the track. This one over here, I've actually added a Gaussian blur, so you can really see my sun is blurred out here, my track is blurred out over here. Uh, and if I turn on my tint, just so you can kind of see my mask, you'll notice I've actually rotated it on an angle to kind of go along with my cars here. La, 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 la.